Air fryers, griddles, and indoor grills. Three essential tools in the kitchen. Guess what we have today? We have the Chef Favor, and it is all three in one unit. Today we're gonna unbox it, and we're gonna do our first little cook on that. We're grilling up some hot dogs and fries, right? So join me. Let's take our look at first look at the Chef Favor Smart Grill with Air Fryer Combo. So I love some combo cookers, and this one's amazing because it's actually an air fryer with a griddle and a grill, right? So this is the Chef Favor. I'll put links down in the description, and thank you, Chef Favor, for sending this and allow us to take a look at it. Um, I'm interested to see how this works. So what we're going to do with this today is we're going to grill up a hot dog because it's the beginning of spring and we got to get ourselves ready for summer, right? <laughs> um, so we're going to do some hot dogs and fries and then we are going to do a full on steak dinner with this uh, with all the fixings. We're going to do plank potatoes, vegetable and a steak, right? That's going to be for air. So let's see what this thing has to offer. I've used obviously an air fryer. I love air fryers. My air fryer recipes are some of my favorite things and air fryers are essential. But they've taken, Chef Favor has taken this to a whole nother level because they've combo cooked it, right? With a whole bunch of stuff. So here is your uh, guide here. And there's a window in the front so you can see what's going on. This is your use and care guide. And I know you're asking, how can you have an air fryer that griddles and grills, right? Well, here's the grill. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Uh, so this is what we're going to be grilling steaks on. We're going to grill our hot dogs on here. Um, actually, we might air fry the hot dogs. Have you guys air fried hot dogs before? I don't eat hot dogs too much, but sometimes every once in a while I get like it's craving for I want a hot dog. So, ah. Oh. Okay, this is this is a serious machine here. Whoa. Put that part down. Whoa. Okay, this is not this is not a little tiddly wink. Not a little tiddly wink at all. This is a serious, serious machine here. Whoa. Okay, so this is a little more major than I thought it was. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and take this off here. Whoa, so yes, it has a, a window here so you can um, see what's going on in there. Whoa, this thing is pretty cool. Okay, so this is major here. Whoa. So there's your air fryer lid. And in here we have, this is the air fryer basket. And in here we have what you can use for the griddle and a pan. And like that. So, so in here you have a heating plate that heats from the bottom, and you also have the air fryer that cooks from the top. Whoa. And one of the things with air fryers is this thing here comes off. It's like a screen to help you be able to clean this. 
So the griddle pan goes in here, so you can use this as a griddle. You can saute some onions, you can flip some pancakes, you can make some uh, bacon and eggs, right? So if you're gonna air fry, you're gonna put this basket in here and you're gonna use it as a traditional air fryer. And if you want a griddle, grill, you're gonna put the grill here and we're gonna grill. So we're going to uh, grill up some hot dogs and fries and we're also gonna try this on a steak. So let's turn this on real quick and see how it works. Yeah. Okay, we got the machine plugged in, the chef favor, and we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. There's a big reflection here for my light, sorry about that. Um, so the options you have is air fry, and air fry goes up to 450. Grill, high, medium, low. Bake, so you technically could bake a cake in that pan. Um, baking goes up to 450. Griddle, high, max, medium, low, broil, roast, put a chicken in there and roast a chicken, mm -hmm. and dehydrate. That's pretty cool. Um, so also in here at the bottom, there's a little thing that comes out and there's a temperature probe to probe your meat to make sure you're getting it at the exact temperature that you so here's our grill. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash these parts up. I'm gonna get some fries and some hot dogs and we're gonna try this baby out for the first time. Okay, we have a air fryer basket full of fries here. I have the griddle pan in there. You have to have that in there. We're gonna go ahead and put that in here. I have some olive oil spray that I'm just gonna spray the fries with to give us that goodness. So I'm gonna start out cooking the fries first because they're gonna take a little bit longer, I think, than the hot dogs. So we're gonna go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on. Air fry, I'm gonna do 375 and start. You can put amount of time in there. I just watch it. So we're off and running. Fries are and once it starts preheating, the light comes on so you can see your fries in there. Hmm, <laughs> looks good. So with fries, you can throw it in there and let them preheat because they're just frozen. And some people let it preheat, then put the fries in. I just go for it, right? It shrinks the time a little bit and gives them a chance to warm up a little bit before over browning. So, um, I think when these fries are about half done, we're gonna put in the hot dogs. So we'll be back. Okay, see how that light is? That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, you can see your food. So we're still on the preheat stage and um, that's how it looks inside. So there's your air fryer and there's actually a heating element down below. So we have dual heating in this. We're off again. Okay, so our fries are starting to look kind of good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a couple hot dogs in here to get our meal rounded out here. And away we go. Okay, so it looks like we're only like 11 minutes in and it looks like our fries are done. I'm gonna go ahead, slap a little bit of seasoning on our fries. <laughs> and fries are coming out. Yeah, they smell good. These are my favorite among the frozen fry. <laughs> got a couple dogs here. I'm going to roll them. We got a little grill marks going on in there, even in the air fryer. And we're going to give these a couple more minutes. 
Okay, I'm gonna, these hot dogs are looking pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of bun here. A little bit of bun to heat my buns. They're only gonna need like a very, very short time. Actually, let me flip them over. Yeah, we'll keep them like that. Okay, buns are looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, just like that. I'm gonna turn off the cooker and I'm gonna give it a little ketchup action. <laughs> And we got two hot dogs going down. And it's time for us to take a taste. Let me give a little, little action to the fries. <laughs> so that was really fast. It took like, I can't, I can't remember what the timer was on, but it literally took like 13 minutes, 14 minutes. 11 minutes or so for the fries and a couple extra minutes for the hot dogs because we didn't time it right. <laughs> and then the preheat cycle. Preheat cycle. So you might be talking, mmm. 15 mm -hmm. minutes maybe? 15 minutes to dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the hot dog. Mm. Oh yeah. Dogs, delicious. I think it did a great job. Um, I'll put links to this down in the description. It's the Chef Favor Grill Griddle Air Fryer. And we're going to have fun with this. So stay tuned. We're going to ha, we're going to um, do a full steak dinner. We're gonna do steak, we're gonna do plank potatoes, and uh, it's gonna be fantastic. Um, thank you, Chef Favor, for sending this. I really appreciate it. We're gonna have fun with this. Links will be down in the description. This grill is great.